Hey gamers, it's Gaming with the Guys, and we are back today, a week or less, to Adepticon 2024. <laughs> We're getting everybody here in the local area is really, really excited, and I've been seeing a lot of other talking heads on YouTube talking about what they're going to be doing at Adepticon and their previous experiences and what to expect. But the one question that keeps popping up is, where is there to eat around Adepticon? Being a local, we know some of the secrets of where there are different restaurants and whatnot. It kind of disturbed me when I heard a bunch of people saying, well, there, you know what? There's just not a whole lot of places to eat around Adepticon. Tell me, prove that that is a gigantic fallacy. I am happy to bring in my number one, Garcon. He's a coinoisseur of fine foods and beverages. Dr. Dice. Ooh, hey, Doctor. We got maps up here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the split screen of both of us right there. How are you doing, fine sir? You, you, sommelier of fine I'm an, things. I'm an Epicurean. But, uh, that's I'm the word. I didn't even. Yes. Know hard enough. That's why you got a doctorate, and I'm just gaming, Greg. Uh, yes, I'm. I'm here to to share and enlighten. And of course, being a large mammal, it also helps because I, I have uh, consumed. Uh, many of the dishes at these various establishments that we're going to tell them about. And yeah, you are absolutely spot on when you told me that, man, I really wish we had been able to, to uh, get this thing together. I'm, I'm so glad that, that when I said, Hey, let's do it. You said, we're doing it. And this is great. It. This is great. Do it. Just do it. People got to know, man, you can't game on an empty stomach. People I don't see any small gamers. People get hungry. Now, I will say, now, they're, they're, here's here's the issue with, with a lot of people with gaming and Adepticon. One, it's not like your normal gaming, that, you know, like a Gen Con or something like that. You got a four-hour session of this and a four-hour session of that. You're smack dab in the downtown area, you know, so you kind of roll out and there's a restaurant right in front of you. That doesn't mean there aren't restaurants nearby. Right. Now, first thing, there are a couple restaurants within or at least one restaurant within the convention hotel center and there's also convention food but convention food is typically one uber expensive and two eh, it's, it's i mean well, i'll say the adepticon stuff isn't the worst i've had but it's not the best it's not, it's it's, not it's com comparable to like minor league ballpark food and actually not even really because our minor league ball team their food is pretty good go so. boomers Go yeah. Schomburg Boomers. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, um, but, you know, the, so there's that. The public house, which is a relative, it, it takes over for the old, old uh, steakhouse, expensive steakhouse they had there. I've heard good reviews about everything at the public house. I haven't eaten there myself. Oh, it's tasty. Absolutely. It's tasty. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll take your word for that. But there are options within walking distance. Within, I would say within one mile of Adepticon, there are many, I would say, multiple eating establishments that should fit just about all of your needs. Yeah. You will have to walk. The, 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 the one, well, I shouldn't say that. You could take your car, but again, second gripe with Adepticon is once you sacrifice your parking space, you might not find one. I find that a little, parking is challenging, but I have always been able to find a parking place. You know what? You take a, Grab three of your friends, take the $10 Uber. It won't even be 10 bucks. It's going to be less than 10 bucks. Because literally the restaurants that, the, 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 the first restaurants that we're going to talk about here really quickly are within a half a mile of the convention center. They are a two minute car ride or a, or about a, a thir, uh, 10 to 15 minute walk. Now, again, weather in March in the Midwest is a crapshoot. Roll the right. dice and pray it's not raining, snowing, or other. Yeah, it's, it's like 70 degrees today. 70, yeah. Yeah. It's it's be day, 70 degrees and windy, pff, you should be walking. It's going to be wonderful. Right. On the flip side, tomorrow is supposed to be 40s and possible rain. May not want to walk. Chicago. That. Yeah, it's Chicago. <laughs> yeah, welcome to March. <laughs> We're going to turn the river green on Sunday, so it's going to be great. There you go. Um, so let's let's kind of take a little bit of look, get a little bit of the lay of the land, and then we're gonna we're gonna call out some of our 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 restaurants that we like mm -hmm. that are within walking distance. So in my term of walking distance is mile or less, and then we'll go and spread that spread out a little more because once you go over, if you've been to Adepticon before, there's a highway right behind the convention center uh, to the south of it. Once you go over the bridge for the highway. There are a lot more options. So if you're willing to go maybe two miles out, two and a half miles out, 
you're by one of the largest shopping malls in the United States that's been around since Gaming Greg was a wee Gaming Greg, and you know, and there are tons of eating options around there. We probably won't talk about those too much. We really want to concentrate on the stuff that's really close by and then just over the bridge, really. So let's get into it. All right, so let's share that screen now. So here we are. This is the Google map of the Schomburg Renaissance, or Renaissance Schomburg Convention Center. Sure. So we'll zoom in a little more uh, just to kind of let you know. There will be your hotel is over here. You have the, this is the in-between and then the big convention hall right here. So first and foremost, um, Mr. Mr. Dr. Dice, what, you know, you live actually closer to the convention center than I do. So what, what are some of your favorite restaurants that are within walking distance? And I'll see if I could pull, I've already got them saved. <laughs> yeah. Should we go with our favorite one? I think we should, because honestly, that's, that's probably where I'm going to go with this. All right. So within one half mile of the Schomburg Convention Center, and as you can see, it is a 13-minute walk away. So even the unhealthy gaming Greg can make that. Uh, uh, what, what is that at a waddle pace? <laughs> they don't have waddle. I don't. My um, waddle pace, I probably put at 20 minutes. 20 minute waddling. You can. Anyone waddling. can pull it off. Yes, absolutely. It's, it's a straight shot right down. There's a little side road, right? So you're not going to go out on the main roads. Yeah. There's a little side road that kind of does a little loop de loop. Let me right do that. Down past the convention center, and it goes right out to. There's 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 one main road you're gonna cross here, and there's a light, and there's there's like the little the little buzzards, that, so you can just press the button and it'll it'll stop traffic for you. So it's not like you're playing Frogger, right? Yeah. So you get you get right there's the road right there, that's Algonquin, and you're just gonna cross Algonquin and you get into this shopping plaza. So you can even see from the satellite there is the crosswalk there. You'll go to the crosswalk, yeah. and you are right in this shopping mall right here, and inside the shopping mall. The first place we're going to point out is the CM Korean Fried Chicken of Chicago, of Schaumburg. Yep, yep. And the CM stands for, I think, Chung Man. And um, I don't even know what that means, but it, it's friggin' great. It's what it ought to be called. I, I it, it, This place is a lot of fun. Um, I'm so, oh, do they have a picture of? No, they don't have the picture of the neon. Oh, that's the Mep Chicken. Right up, right up top, there's the Mep Chicken, which this I remember. right here? No, the one a little little upper. I think it's a little top. Uh, there you go. There you go. I think it's oh, that's the snow. Bit. That's the snow onion chicken. Snow onion. Okay, that's also really good. I think it's got the map sauce. On. So little thing. So you get your fried chicken here. They also have expanded their me their uh, menu a little bit because I think they got bulgogi now. Um, they, well, they didn't have bulgogi when we were there. The bulgogi rice they were out, but were out. but um, if they if they have it, I'm sure it's great, right? Because everything that they do here. Oh, is, is this one I stuff. love too. This was this is very very tasty. The, here. the food is delicious. The, the food okay, is the, delicious. The chicken is not greasy. The chicken is oh. well fried. The, the the pickled radishes that you get oh. are really nice. Yeah, you just you know, um, and honestly, look the the wait staff here are really good. Friendly. They're really good. Very friendly. Nice people. Um, and of course, they're, they're good. this is going to be a little bit of a busy restaurant, I think, because the people that know about this are really going to want to be involved. Yeah. So uh, if you get a chance, stop on by here. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna love it. And there's there's so many different sauces for this chicken. So it's, many different sauces. One, I will give one gaming Greg hint on on the on the chicken here. Uh -huh. um, when it says it's spicy and it has three hot peppers on it. Now I'm used to Mexican food, which usually has a four pepper rating. The three pepper rating, and I was here eating with my wife, and I'm like, well, I'm not usually used to heat, but it's only three peppers, so it's not really hot. She's like, no, 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 it's different. It's going to be super hot. I'm like, it's three peppers. I'll try it. I remember taking the first bite, and at some point I was crying <laughs> because of the heat and the pain, but it was so good I kept putting it in my mouth. Actually, you were hallucinating from I the pain. You weren't actually getting it into your mouth. You were just like rubbing it on your face and then on your oh. neck and the and chest. It was it was it was really sexy but strange. And 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 the other part is is you could come inside and you get your picture taken with be a badass with a good ass. Nothing says an Adepticon player more than that. Yeah, and I honestly I still don't know what that sign really means, but I'm fine with it. It's it works out. <laughs> um, you know. So hey, but. Yeah, love this place. Love this place. Please check it out. If uh, and they're not paying us for this, by the way. No, they're not even giving us free chicken. No, um, they're giving us nothing. 
We're going to show them this video though. And we're going to we're going to say, "Hey, don't you feel bad you didn't give us free chicken?" And then maybe they'll give us free chicken. And then they they won't give us anything anyway. No. Oh, hey, also, if you decide to go here, try the fries. Oh, fries. And then good. they have this they have this uh cheesy yeah. powder that, that they, they put, put on the on chicken them. basically, yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be for the chicken. Tell them to put them on the fries. It's 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 not on the menu and it's delicious. So the added benefit is let's say the Korean fried chicken isn't your your isn't your thing. So CM CM Korean fried chicken of Schaumburg, we give a thumbs up to. Yep. Right next door to it, same mall, right next door to it is the Chicago Ramen Annex. It is. Um this place is great too. Yep. I I love the hell out. I, I this is what the I I had ramen here for the first time. And they're not showing me pictures of it. So it doesn't have a whole lot of pictures of it. That's kind of That's sad. okay. That's all right. The atmosphere is actually really cool inside the place. You can't tell from the pictures, but the atmosphere is actually oh, really cool. There we go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, the atmosphere is great. The food, uh, again, I'm not a ramen connoisseur, so I'll let Dr. Dice take the, take the wheel on that while I scroll through pictures. But I loved it. I think it's really good ramen. The broth is rich. Um they have a they have a really nice tonkatsu. Um, I would recommend obviously the pork in there just because I'm that's kind of the traditional that I go with. But uh, you're going to get your slice of egg and things like that. It's it's a really good ramen. It's it's delicious, um, very very savory. So um, well worth your time to check this place out. I believe they also had some sushi, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and I know that you can definitely get like a Sapporo or something in there if you want to. Uh, yeah, they did. So, so yeah, the and, and next door at the the Korean place, I don't know if they had Sapporo, but I do know they had, um, oh, it's some kind of Korean so Korean version of sake because my wife. Soju? Had they had yeah, soju? soju. Yes, they had the hoju there. Yeah. Yeah, and the soju was good stuff. Um so, so yeah, if if you are looking for a drunken Adepticon experience, and let's face it, most of us are, um, you can kick it off at lunchtime at these couple of places. They they definitely have the booze to get, get you going there. And, and not to get everybody excited because I just showed this, the Falafel Zone is no longer in business. That's correct. I think another restaurant's coming in, but it won't be open by the time uh, Adepticon 2024 is there. But Falafel Zone is not there. But this is just to kind of give you an idea of what the outside of it looked at. If it were summertime and there were leaves on things, um, this will probably be replaced by either rain or snow and miserable people walking in and out. No, no, no. Um, no, no. But yeah, the Chicago the Chicago Ramen Annex, uh, it's it's very good. When we went, when I went the one time, uh, it wasn't terribly busy. Um, mm -hmm. We were all, we also tend to go on. I tend to go on the weekends. This is kind of a lunch spot. Um, and I know that the Korean and the ramen annex are both open probably about till nine. Yeah. Uh, eight, eight or nine. Check, check the nine. website to be, to be sure, you know, absolutely. Um, I know um, that, that, like I said, that it's a family, I think the, the Korean place, I think tends to be a family deal. Uh, I don't know about the ramen place. And so it's possible that they might close a little early, but I know the Korean place is more of a chain. Um, well, I think they got a couple of locations. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, what now do you think the Italian place. Well, that's what I was going to say. So if let's say Korean is not of your liking or Japanese ramen is not, not of your liking, and then you go next door to the, to the Chicago ramen annex. And I'm using this accent because I am Italian. Cause you notice I'm talking with my hands a lot. Uh, you go to Finucci and sons Italian deli. Now this is right store. It's part grocery store, part deli. You get a sandwich. You could get uh, the. We went here and they have their meatball sandwich. is just, it, it was excellent. Oh. I enjoyed it. The the regular deli sandwiches were huge. Yeah, you're gonna get a lot of bread. You're gonna get a lot of meat. You're gonna get a lot of cheese on it, and uh, just really friendly. This place here's one of their uh, panini sandwiches, which isn't showing up. There it goes. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice. Here's some of their hours. Now, they do not stay open as late. They're closing around dinner. They're closing around 5, 6. Uh, so if you're looking to kind of get a get a good lunch in or something like that, I can recommend Finucci's and Son. It's a little slower because it's usually one gentleman and his wife working behind the counter <laughs> making the sandwiches for you. But uh, it's well worth it. I, and if you want to do some slots, they got slots right there because, you know, it's an Italian establishment. Sure. Got to get that. So, like as we said, you see it right next door. It's it's got two rooms, but the the eating area is relatively small. But it's not again. If you're just looking, 
to grab a bite and and you know grab something and take it back to the con that's one thing if you're looking for uber eats or something again really close by really easy to get delivery grab a couple of sandwiches here's a bag whatever you decide to put their sandwich in the corner let's let's go with there's the meatball sandwich Uh, is that sandwich in the corner yeah the good meatball and this it was it was was delicious yeah some bread again i i've had i've been there a few times i I enjoyed the turkey sandwich that i had there i enjoyed the the meatball sandwich they even have they have a a, a limited amount of italian pastries and desserts Mm -hmm. here's more of that if you're just looking to get some straight up cold cuts you get that too and you know what honestly nothing is better for threatening fellow gamers than a gigantic salami you know moving on moving on (laughs) Moving on. Uh, <laughs> What's the scale of this in Titanicus? So anyway. Wow. All right. So now these are three things. These were definitely gauged in by Google Maps as a half mile away. But I'm going to go up and pull the, the map up now. And we'll zoom in a little bit. Let's get rid of that. Because the, here's some things that are, if you want, if, if, if you're looking for more well, first, let's talk about different exotic foods. So let's go back to my map. Do, do, do. So this would be if you were to add another, and, and I'm saying adding a quarter mile would be an exaggeration. But if you like Indian food, mm-hmm. now I have I have never eaten Indian food. So I would have to have Dr. Dice speak of this place. One, I've never eaten here. And two, I've never eaten Indian food. Have you have you eaten here at Nawabi's? If I, I have. So, right. so here's what I'm going to say. Get the... Uh... I don't know. I don't remember exactly whether they have a butter chicken. I'm sure they have a butter chicken. Butter chicken is always a safe play. I, I don't care how pedestrian your palate is. Butter chicken is always a safe play. It's creamy. It's got a tomato base. It's got the chicken. It's delicious. Um, you take the get the butter chicken. Get yourself a couple of, of uh, pieces of naan. Um, maybe some nice rice. Um, and you put the butter chicken over the rice, and you have the naan there to dip dip in the sauce. I mean, that's that's living right. Maybe some nice samosas, a couple of veggie samosas. I think this is more, I think this is more, I mean, you've eaten there though, but I don't know if it's Indian or more Pakistani. Um, that's a hell of a good question. I mean. I bearded dad. Yeah, it's. I think it's more Pakistani. I, I felt like it was more Indian. I don't know. It, it, honestly, it's, it's kind of it's for, shitty for to say us, but i feel like it had it not been for the british they'd have been the same fucking country anyway so why are we playing games here that is true <laughs> thanks uk anyway but yeah so again if you're looking for something like that they have a full menu um mm-hmm. yeah i'll show some good. pictures of things here so good. and and it, again it's within so if you're able to walk to um to cm chicken or whatnot it literally is just a it, it's it's a quarter mile more to go over, and you you're on the same side of the street, so you're walking. You don't have to cross over any major street or anything. You're you're within easy striking distance of that restaurant. Uh, yeah. There is also, and I'm going to go now. I'm going to go back to the map. Uh, yeah, there, there's, there's a lot more. in that plaza. Like that's that's just yeah. at the corner of the plaza. But if you want a steakhouse, there's a steakhouse just. Uh, to Chicago Prime, it. yeah, it's, it's yep. right next door to it, yeah. So if you see over here, over in this spot, that's where we were talking about with the Chicago ramen and Fenucci and, and uh, CM Chicken. If you cross over this little side street, and there's barely any traffic on this street here, first you're going to pass a Wendy's, so fast food, bing, yep. bing, there's a Wendy's. You're going to come into the shops, the shops at Prime Village. Cause it has a name? I didn't even know it had a name. We anyway, like okay, being cool. classy here in the western suburbs of Chicago. So you come into this mall here, and you have eating. You have high-end steakhouse, high-end Chicago steakhouse, Chicago Prime. Again, too rich for gaming. Greg's blood. He he was he's a he's a big Ponderosa slash Sizzler kind of guy. Sizzler. <laughs> Take me to the Sizzler. We're going to the Sizzler. We're going to the Sizzler. <laughs> So if if yeah, Chicago Prime is good. Chicago Prime is good. If you want to go to a nice steakhouse, I, I recommend Chicago Prime. If you want to be extra celebratory, like when I go to Gen Con, if I'm not going to St. Elmo's, I've done something wrong, um, and then I would have to commit seppuku. So clearly, I'm still alive. So I've always gone to St. Elmo's. Yeah. 
I would recommend if that if it's that kind of meal for you, Wildfire, which is a little further away. You're gonna have to take an Uber to get there. But during the nights that Adepticon is, Wildfire always has on their weekend the prime rib and the beef Wellington specials. Mm. And honestly, you can't beat either of those. They're both delicious. So awesome. but if you don't feel like screwing around and doing that. Chicago Prime, absolutely. Get yourself a beautiful piece of meat, uh, some, some nice, uh, you know, a nice baked potato or something. A um, couple of old fashions, and you'll be living right. There you go, and that's with it. And again, within walking distance. So this is probably about uh, six, seven tenths of a mile. What is that stumbling distance? Uh, stumbling distance that would be three miles. Very good. Okay. okay. If you're stumbling drunk, stumble. So it, stumble it's a little on the pricier side, but again, it's it is an option there, and it's it's a freestanding building, so yeah, you'll be able to yeah. to go in and find that. And again, it's right next to to Nawabi. Uh, if you're of the gaming Greg's type, whenever I used to go on the road for work, Subway was my mainstay. A little far to walk for a Subway, but hey, if you want a Subway sandwich, it's right there. Uh, other when you're expensing meals, you don't ever let them get off cheap. Eh, I'm 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 too busy. Uh, and other other fast food options in the area, you do have a Culver's. So if you ever want the the classic butter burger of the Midwest, yep. Culver's is, actually Culver's is pretty good. I like Culver's as fast food goes. Yeah, you know Wendy's is all right. Culver's is all right. And then if you really want something, we have our Popeyes chicken. Right. So if you want to shank someone for a chicken sandwich. I don't think I don't think a shake is required anymore. But I'll tell you, if you if you want a chicken sandwich that doesn't have the level of sophistication that comes with CM, this is your it's this true. is your option. This is yeah. this is what this is this, and it's it, and I won't say it's spicier because damn, I, I don't think a Popeye sandwich is going to make me cry due to pure heat. But uh, I know my wife loves the Popeyes when she gets it, um, and most people, you know, again, it's good fast food chicken. I'd say yeah, it's a step it up. It's a step up from your KFC. I, I, I put them pretty much in the same, same, same ballpark, honestly. But you know what? You stuff a couple of chicken sandwiches in your bag, and then you get back to playing. That's that's totally a legit thing. So that that pretty much now again, there's there's some other there's some other locations that are down going east on Algonquin that you could walk to. They're a little further. They're a little more sit downy. Um, I really haven't gone here too much. There's Finn McCool's, which is kind of an Irish pub sports mm -hmm. bar. Food is yeah, a little so on the it's down a little, It's got a Irish divey. It's, kind got of. A it's got a flair to it. It's you know, So if you're looking for somewhere to grab a drink or something or a pint, go to Finn McCool's. If you're yeah. from the UK, it's going to be absolutely nothing like you're used to. It's going to suck. Yeah, uh, I'm going to say one thing, though. There's a, In that plaza there, okay, so. That's a little you, further down. You, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, but you've got like the Barnellis, right? Oh, oh, the Moretti's is behind it, and I the Moretti's is oh, a Moretti's it's a chain rush. It's a chain Italian place. Uh, they have they have lasagna, pizza, stuff like that. It's all right. Yeah, uh, it's, I mean, it's, 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 it's cheap. It's good, it's re and uh, it's reasonably priced price for a sit down place in in Schaumburg for sure. Yep, and then there's a, a place that I recommend here. It's a couple. It's actually the far right side of the screen. There, it's that jerk, the jerk. jerky jerk chicken. Okay, and, uh, let me so, highlight that. That building and that little plaza, it is sketch looking as hell. I'm yes. not even kidding. It looks like you're gonna get shanked just going into the parking. It looks like it looks like the, the parking lot's gonna cave in and your car's gonna get lost. But if you're taking an Uber, who gives a shit? The point is the jerk chicken there. My my wife is Jamaican, so I know good Jamaican food. And I'm gonna tell you the jerk chicken is really good. Okay, it's juicy. But it's got that beautiful jerk seasoning and crust on it. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to go get it tonight. It is, it <laughs> now is that you're talking yourself into it. <laughs> I am. I am. It's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. I recommend Ooh. it. Highly. And and you can get this cocktail there. I didn't realize they had attractive cocktails. There is a. I'm gonna. So if you're watching this and you're saying, "Hey, you know what? That fat guy might be onto something." If you go there, see if they have. Because I haven't checked it out. See if they have Ray and nephew and Ting. Ray and nephew and Ting. Ting is a soda. Tastes like it's like a grapefruit kind of soda. Ray and nephew is Jamaican white rum. The combination thereof will put hair on your chest, fire in your belly, and sixes on your dice. And that's a Dr. Dice guarantee, by the way. It especially works great for females. And that that's the outside of the uh, the place. I'm glad we found it. So the yeah. big question is, is how far away is it? So let's it's it's too far to walk. Put it that way. I wouldn't I wouldn't try walking. I mean. Let's find out. I, yeah. I'm curious now. Uh, we're going to go to 
uh, jerky. Jerky, jerk. Yeah. But you know what? Actually, a lot jerky of these places... Rolling Meadow, don't be afraid because Rolling Meadow butts right up there. It, it is does. four minutes by car, 23-minute right. walks. So it's a bit of a hike. And it's, um, you know what, though? It's also going kind of down, and you're walking through, like, parking lots because there's not a whole lot of sidewalk in that no, area. It's, 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 it's you're yeah. 1.1 miles away from the convention center. I, I would say this. All of these places, are you're going to be able to do, if you want to do Uber Eats or DoorDash or that kind of stuff, Grubhub, you'll be able to get the delivery services from these places. So just because you don't feel like necessarily walking to them doesn't mean you can't eat good at the con. Right. There's there there is again the the goal that we wanted to show was is it's not your standard city block walk down to go to some place because again when we look at that map going from the convention center just to our favorite places uh, that are a half mile away, you know these roads are it, it's it's just business road but there is a sidewalk yeah that's definitely. that takes you along this this is not you know d uh, except for the start of work maybe around lunch and the end of work yeah. it's not that busy. Uh, and on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday, it will be dead except for Adepticon yeah. traffic. And most of the Adepticon traffic, to be perfectly honest, is going to be coming from Meacham, which is just to the no uh, west. Yep. And then it's going to be driving around those parking lots very slowly, trying to find a space that they'll never find because... Like a predator. Yeah, um, because Schaumburg still hasn't built the damn parking garage. But don't get me started. Yeah, that's uh, that's gonna uh, eventually it will happen. But yeah, so if you if you if you're if you are healthy and the weather's good and want to walk down there to Jerky Jerk, there's Jerky Jerk. There's a Mexican restaurant which I haven't eaten at. I even yeah. think there's a sushi place somewhere in there. I don't know. No, what the no, I'm no, afraid no. to find out what the striped pole is. Uh, <laughs> I would hope it's, a is. Oh, it's temporarily closed. And then the Stadium Sports Club and Pizza, Ooh. which is the sketchiest bar in the area, is closed. Closed, closed forever. Is it? Oh wow! Yeah. I, yeah. I, I would I would ignore everything in that plaza if you're going into that area. You're specifically going for the jerk. Otherwise, for well, you day. might be stopping off at Arminetti's Wine and Liquor if you're looking. Oh to yeah, well there. Look, yeah, there's a liquor store right there. That's true. And if you're going to be in the area and you're staying in a hotel and you want to buy a couple of bottles for the room, hey, that's a good place to do it. Is it a Binnie's? No, 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 no. But but if you're close and maybe you flew in and you don't want to uber all the way to Benny's. hey this works um i will point out one last thing before we kind of wrap it up or wrap up at least this portion of it mm -hmm. um speaking of if you're if you're looking to buy some if you are of the mind where you would just want to get some snacks some sodas and things like that we were talking about let me get rid of this layer we were talking about over by uh, in the shops at the prime village mm -hmm. um you have your Indian, Pakistani place, your Culver's, whatnot. But right up here, you have an Aldi's. You have a grocery store. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Less than a mile away. Just run over there. Stock up on what you need uh, soda-wise, food-wise. You know, if you want to get some breakfast cereals or granola bars or whatever. Aldi's is a great discount. I won't say it's a discount. It's a, it's a very popular chain, but it's usually known for having some of the best prices around the Chicago metropolitan area. That's right. Um, and you can get that giant salami that we talked about. So we're going to wrap up this section of, of, of gaming with the guys with Dr. Dice, talking food within walking distance. And again, walking distance by us is defined as within about a mile mm -hmm. of that. We're going to now, t with the next part of this talk is going to be about restaurants that are a little farther away, or what I would like to say, east of I or south of I-90. Is that what direction it is? I don't even know what it's, direction it's it is. It's definitely south. I, I don't know squat about direction. Anyway, yeah. South south of I-90. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed that, uh, you know, give give us the thumbs up and uh and and ring the bell. Let us know you like that. If you uh if you have other, if you're local and have some other suggestions that we may have missed within a mile and and on the north side of I-90. Let us know if you have if you've gone to some of these restaurants at past the, uh, past Adepticons and have and have some comments about it. Throw those comments in there too. And most importantly, subscribe because someday I might have enough subs subscribers where I'll have enough where I could possibly eat at the Chicago Prime. No, no. <laughs> I might I might die in that. You know, they'll have my 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 funeral meal there or something like that. Now they'll probably still have they'll still have it at the Culvers. Uh, that's it. That's it. 
Well, Dr. Dice, thank you so much for helping with this. And I hope you will join me when we do episode two, South of I-90. South of I-90. Okay. Until then, everybody have a great day or evening, wherever you be. Have a good one.